So is this why Space Force was created? Are they, are they the space police of the US? What's the trouble? Well, we said on Earth, you know who defines the laws, which yeah. is the country you're in, and who enforces it, it's the police of that country. Yes, right. Now in space, we now know kind of who's just for them as a law, but who's going yeah, to arrest exactly. the astronaut that murder someone. That's right. So, of course, if it's a space trough that's owned by Australia, then the Australian police will presumably have to go and arrest the astronaut or whatever it's going to be. So that's at least legally straightforward. It hasn't yeah. been a practical issue so far. But, uh, what's more of a problem is what yeah. happens if something involves two countries. For example, let's imagine, hypothetically, that a Russian... Uh, disused Russian satellite crashes into an American communication satellite. Oh, what an idea that, you know, purely hypothetical. Here. See the, see the uh, space junk section. <laughs> um, who's li the rules say that whoever is at fault is responsible. It's a liability thing. So how do you prove that's at fault in this case? Yeah, I mean, who's <laughs> at fault? The Russian satellite was long disused. Yep. So maybe the American one should have navigated to avoid it does but, that mean but, it's the american one's fault but then the the russian one they lost control so they were negligent you know it, it's it's like a car accident right you kind of need witnesses to say oh no they cross into their lane otherwise it's a they said they said type thing yes yeah, so that's difficult yeah um and often the laws is flagrantly violated for example mm -hmm. no weapons are supposed to be tested in space but several countries have tested space weapons by blowing up satellites yes most recently the russians and the chinese creating huge clouds of space debris that were a problem for other ones that's right you know and it's funny because you know the u.s did it and then they condemn people and then china did it and then they condemn people and so on it's and yeah it's the countries who have signed those treaties yep. and are big space players so what do you do if a country yeah. flagrantly ignores what it's actually signed up for? Mm. In principle, you could prosecute them under their own law. So, okay. for example, Australia, so Australia breaks some human yeah, rights yeah, law. Yeah, you could yeah. then take the Australian government to court in Australians and legal okay. system. All right. yeah. But I don't see that working against the government in China or Russia. And it also is even hard because in these cases, the governments that would have taken the court also already committed that act before them. Yes. So it's a, it's a bit rich. Uh, principally, you can go to the International Court okay. of Justice. This is the ultimate res reserve for international disputes. So because this, this happens on Earth, right? It does happen on Earth. So this is a court in uh, Den Haag yep. in the Netherlands and things are brought here. But the trouble is this could only work if both parties agree ahead of time to be bound by what they come up with. Okay, so there's zero chance of that working in space. But let's right. say uh, <laughs> um, France and uh, the USA yeah. have some dispute. They might both agree to go to here and yeah. let them sort it out if they couldn't negotiate amongst themselves. Yeah. But it's not going to happen probably with your Russia or North Korea or something That's like right. that. That's right, exactly. So most, yeah. most enforcement in space is going to be done by national governments. Yep. So hopefully the national government has taken this Outer Space Treaty and embedded it in its own national law. Yep. And you can then use that national law to prosecute somebody. Okay. But if it's multiple countries and the countries don't want to obey, there's not a lot you can do to stop them. Mm. It becomes complicated.